Hi everyone, Byron Martin here at Logis Greenhouses, and today we're going to be talking about the jasmine sandbacks, the ones most often used for making tea. So jasmine sandbacks are an Asian plant, or an Asian variety of the jasmine family. They're revered throughout Asia and Southeast Asia. Some are sacred, that particularly are made of Orleans and the Grand Duke and they also are used in floriculture where they are propagated in mass for use as um, bouquets and lays and such things as that. Also this one is sacred to the Buddhists where the flowers are picked and brought to the temples. But one thing that they do make is great tea or jasmine water and so it's very common to find people in Asia using these to infuse liquids, particularly water which you can do by picking the flowers off and setting them into a, a jar of water overnight and then getting up in the morning and drinking it and it tastes just like jasmine. It also can be used as teas where the flowers are picked and put into the teapot, hot water put on them, or even to the point of drying them and then saving them to mix in with you know your regular tea that you would normally drink. It's not the only variety of jasmine that's used for that, but it is one of the more common ones. Some of the others, like Aficionau, have been used. And really, we grow many jasmines here. There are a lot of others that I've tried and have worked quite well to infuse water with their fragrance. And it's really delicious for those of us that like adventures of the taste buds. This is Jasmine Grand Duke. As you can see, it has a double flower. There are actually several varieties of this in the trade. This one here, we found to be the most vigorous. Some of the others are somewhat slow growing, but they all have that big, thick double flower. Some of them are larger and smaller in size, and they all have that wonderful jasmine sandback smell. This is the famous made of Orleans, Sampaguita, in the Philippines. It's the national flower of the Philippines. It has a single flower to it, very vigorous, never stops blooming, has that wonderful smell to it, and it only lasts a day. So you pick it for one day, and then these flowers open for tomorrow. And this is a Sambac variety, Bell of India, which has these double flowers. You can see the frilly edge to them. They also are only daily. And again, the fragrance is delightful. And this is uh, not quite as vigorous as this one in terms of its growth, but it tends to be more sprawling in its habit, but it still flowers just as freely. Well, thanks for watching. Visit us online at logis.com to see the jasmines and other plants that can be used for making tea.